NASA astronaut Terry Virts has been to space before, but he's about to fly to the International Space Station for a nearly six-month stay on the orbiting outpost at the end of the month. Uh, today, he's speaking to us from Russia, where he and his fellow crew members have been training for their flight to the station. Um, so how are you today, Terry? I'm doing great. Looking forward to launch in just a few weeks. Great. Um, so what do you expect to be different about this trip to the space station as opposed to your last? Well, the big, the, the big difference is the length of time. On a space shuttle flight, it was like we were going on a business trip. It was two weeks. Uh, we hit the ground running from launch to landing. It was a sprint. And um, the learning curve was still going up. You still hadn't learned how to really live in space, how to move around in space, how to be efficient. Uh, we were still learning. On this trip, it's going to be six months. It's more like we're moving to space. And so... Um, it's going to be a, a much different experience. I, th I think I'm going to really feel to be a space person as opposed to an earthling. And so it's going to be a much different experience. Yeah, you know, that's, that's something that I've heard a few astronauts say before, that, it's, that you become a space as opposed to an earthling. Um, and just sort of right. think, how do you think that your perspective kind of changes as you fly to space and look down at the Earth? Um, from above you know the first time on my first flight I remember looking down thinking it's like you're up in heaven looking down on creation it was an amazing um, perspective unfortunately I didn't have enough time to do that we were just so busy on the during my space shuttle flight so I'm looking forward to that and and uh, we'll see how my perspective changes um, I think one of the things I hope is that I'll just get very familiar with the earth and I'll know the earth by, you know, I'll know what Aust Australia is red because of the desert it just looks red. And, um, you know, Central Africa and South America are thunderstorms because you see thunderstorms there all the time. And so hopefully I'll get to really know our planet Earth, you know, much better than I could ever imagine just by, by looking at it for six months. Right. And are you planning on sharing pictures and your experiences um, of you know, seeing the Earth from space uh, using social media? I will. That's one of the, the best parts of this job is that it's such a unique experience and such a small number of people ever get to leave Earth. And so I'm going to be using Twitter and Instagram to share pictures. Um, Astro Terry is the call sign. And hopefully um, I can just share the adventure that I'm going on with as many people as possible around the world. Um, the, it's something that I'm really planning on doing and looking forward to. Um, and are there any creature comforts or, or things that you think that you're you're going to miss a lot um, when when you're up there for six months? Yeah, I'll have to tell you after six months. I'm sure that there'll be some things. There's no showers in space. We just use wet towels. Um, the food that they make for us is 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 pretty good. It's much better than what I would cook for myself if I were you know living alone. But um, I think food is something that folks miss. And so, yeah, there are some creature comforts, but I, no one ever complains about it because it's so awesome being in space. And the uh, and to be honest, they take pretty good care of us. So I'm, I'm sure there'll be some things that I miss, you know, pizza. Uh, but uh, for the most part, it's the, it's well worth uh, missing out on those few things for the experiment, the experience that you get. Great. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry for the somber question um, at this exciting time mm -hmm. for you about when you're about to fly, but um, it's been a pretty tough week for private spaceflight and I think spaceflight in general with the Antares rocket uh, accident and the tragic loss of life during Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 crash. Um, and as an astronaut, as someone that takes serious risks to fly to space and to do your job, uh, what, what has your reaction been to, to this difficult week? It's been a tough week. Um, you know, if, if I didn't think the risks were worth it, I certainly wouldn't be doing this. Um, but it is a great thing that we're doing with the space station and exploration. These are just the first steps towards exploring the solar system. And uh, I do think the risk is worth it. We, at NASA, as, as you said, we did have the orbital uh, resupply ship accident. Most importantly, no one was injured there. Um, unfortunately, at the, the space or the uh, spaceship two, did have the loss of life, which was which was pretty tough. Going into space is a tough thing to do. Um, you've got to accelerate yourself to over 17,000 miles an hour, and to do that requires rockets that that are burning at very high temperatures and pressures. And so, um, we all know that it's not easy to do that. 
and when you're going to do something great like build a space station or go explore the solar system and you're going to do this for 10, 20, 30, 50 years, uh, you know that you're going to have uh, stumbling blocks along the way. Um, this is not something that is um, going to stop or slow down the space station. We have other vehicles that can bring cargo. In fact, we've already launched one uh, last week. And so it was tough, but it's, it's a risk that we know that's there, and it's something that we're going to press forward with. Space.com.